Sardou is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. hits him hard at the 19-yard line. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. What was that? Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Down. Blue 7. Caught out of the open. Fumble. Recovered by the defense, and he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Screen pass, he's got his half back, and he tackles him hard at the 33. They'll call on the field goal unit. Purdue is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he splits the uprights. <laughs> Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Purdue's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Here we go, check. 200 checks. And he's level at the 29-yard line. That's a team. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Bundle, loose ball, and they fall on the loose ball, and he's taken down at the 12. Fourth and long here after the sack. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Purdue holds a field goal lead. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. 
from the 48-yard line. It's second down. Here we go. Right. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. And he is drilled the 47-yard line. Down he goes again. It's tough to go down like that again, but an experienced quarterback like this knows how to come back from such adversity. Excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Boilermakers are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Taken down at about the 29-yard line. Big opening. Tackled after a decent pickup. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well-executed option play. The blocking was there. The quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Two yards, two yards on the play. play. That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 34 yard line. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Yeah. Motion. Yo, Motion. Motion. Yeah. Now he tries to buy some time. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. To that quickly. Tackle made at about the 49. This guy is one of the most reliable receivers around. They needed a big play on third down, and he got it for them. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Tackle at the 30-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Roger, Roger! Hey, check Mike 39, check Mike 39. <laughs> Here's an opening. Brought down at the two. He's on the run, makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. 
It was an 11 play 79 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. The score now 7-3. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Ohio State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Here's the give. Runs outside for a nice game. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. And down he goes at the 34 yard line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Buckeyes lead 7-3. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Four down, four down. Mark Spar, Mark Spar. Listen to this place. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's immediately tackled. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. That's a great tackle at the 47. That'll make it second in inches. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the outs out there. Four down, four down, five the right. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number six, the intended receiver. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He scrambled. And they make the stop at the 40. That's a gain of seven on the play. First down. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They give to the tailback. Gets out to about the 31. It's the ninth play of the drive. Gains his way to the 20 yard line. First down. From the 20 yard line. First down. Play action. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled at the 11. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Ready. Black and five. He makes it to the nine. Gain of two on the play. This is the 12th play of this drive. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Ready. Gets to about the eight yard line. They're at the eight. 
It's second down. Got his receiver, touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He makes his way out to about the 35. Complete. He's got room to work. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. That's good decision making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to try that time. From midfield. Second down. Got a man. Watch out here. And he has it on the corner. Brought down in the open field. like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball, and a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Purdue is up by three. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Hands it off. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. The Buckeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down at the 48. He 
He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Now he tries to buy some time. And he tackles him hard at the 30. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. He's on the run. Tackle made at the 12 yard line. He scrambled. Tackle at the nine yard line. That's a gain of three on the make it 35. Now he's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 14-10, Ohio State. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both quarterbacks have had a lot of company, guys in opposite colored jerseys in their backfield, in their grills in the first half. And you're starting to see a little frustration from these quarterbacks. Yeah, that was uh, that was always one of the favorite parts about getting after a quarterback is they do get frustrated and they start looking at their offensive line with a puzzled look. And sometimes they even tell them that their breath stinks or something really unnice that you've got. You, you can't say on TV or in this game. So, you know, it's it's fun to get them rattled, to get them frustrated because you know it's going to pay dividends down the road. And especially when they turn to that offensive line, they're like, really, dude? You really can't protect me any better than that? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Throw and he's tackled right away. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Four down, four down. Check number six. Check number six. My go. Misdirection handoff. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Tight end left, tight end left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike five, Mike five. Goes over the middle. The tailback's got it. They'll bring him down at the 38. Gain 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. Oh, 
It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. Here's the eighth play of the series. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at about the 17-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 17. Scrambling around. And they got him. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Another run. He makes it to the six-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. He gets out to about the six yard line. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Quick pass. They get four yards on that pass play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. It's up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, sir. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. They're set to go for another round. Ohio State up a point. Nice run, and he's brought down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. The 10. Touchdown, Boilermakers. the play by the defender. That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. So the offense is going to go for two. Mike five, Mike five. Yeah, Yoda. Motion, motion, bump, bump, bump. And they won't get the two.
Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. And they make the stop at the 25. No game on the play. That makes it second and 10. At the 35-yard line. Makes it out to about the 50. They'll go with a run once again. Runs outside for a nice game. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. Purdue's lead is five. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Get it. Get it. He gets to about the 27-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Oh, and a huge drop by the wideout here in the fourth quarter. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. About the 27 yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's tackled around the 27 yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Purdue with a two-point advantage. Fires to his tight end. Nothing to it. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. He's scrambling. And he's taken down right around the 40. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team of four. That brings him second and five.
Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The crowd really making it difficult. to maybe the 49-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. away and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. Ohio State's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He fights forward to about the 23. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Quick throw. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Throws it deep. And he got it at the 30. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. A little over a minute in the game. Gets out to around the nine. This is big time resiliency by this offense. They're really doing everything that they need to do to put themselves in a position to have a chance to get points on the board. And he's immediately tackled. Touchdown, and they take the lead.
There's so the offense there. will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. Here's the call from the referee. Offense. Check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. We have less than a minute to go. He's on the run. They don't get it. State yet set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Purdue's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. The Boilermakers will use their first time out of the half. Second down, about 12 yards to go. All on their own 23. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. My five. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled him. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He's going to go for the home run. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Under a minute left. Now you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Purdue's out of timeouts. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 23-19, Ohio State. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.